What is an ETF? Exchange Traded Fund Definition Types Pros and Cons Exchange Traded Funds ETFs, have become extremely popular in recent years. With more than 5,000 ETFs trading globally, you can assemble a portfolio of ETFs that invest in almost anything, anywhere. ETFs are now established as tools that can form the cornerstone of any portfolio, whether self-managed or managed by investment advisors or robo-advisors. Investing in ETFs is generating a lot of buzz on the internet, which is why learning how to invest in ETFs is very important. But are ETFs a viable investment for the average investor? And should you consider investing in them? In this episode, you will learn what exchange-traded funds are, how ETFs works, types of ETFs, five benefits and three disadvantages of investing in ETFs, who should invest in ETFs, plus one trivia question about ETFs. Today's trivia question is, when was the first ETF launched? We have also included the timestamps in the description below if you want to revisit any particular section of the video. What is an ETF? ETFs are baskets of securities with multiple assets like stocks, bonds and gold, which makes them similar to mutual funds, especially index funds. However, unlike mutual funds, ETFs trade like stocks, meaning that investors can buy and sell shares on an exchange. ETF's versatility makes them good tools for investing either in broad market indices like the S&P 500 or in sectors such as technology or health and subsectors such as social media or robotics. Some common ETFs include Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF VTI, Schwab US Large Cap ETF SCHX, Global X Robotics and Artificial Intelligence ETF BOTZ iShares Global Clean Energy ETF ICLN How ETFs work Buying and selling ETFs can be as easy as buying a stock. You can do it through regular brokerage accounts during normal trading hours. When you place an ETF trade, you'll have to choose a certain number of shares to buy or sell, just like you would with a stock. For example, if you want to buy $1,000 of a particular ETF and it trades at $100 per share, you'll need to place a buy order for 10 shares using the ETF's ticker symbol. While ETFs trade on exchange like stocks, they have a unique process of share creation and redemption. A third party, known as Authorized Participants APs, handles the buying and selling of the ETF's underlying securities, generally in large chunks of shares known as creation units. That way, the ETF doesn't absorb those trading costs and the price of the fund stays closely tied to that of the underlying index, regardless of supply and demand. Types of ETFs There are many types of exchange-traded funds. Some of the most common ETFs include Stock ETFs. These hold a particular portfolio of equities or stocks and are similar to an index. They can be treated like regular stocks in that they can be sold and purchased for a profit and are traded on an exchange throughout the trading day. Index ETFs These mimic a specific index, such as the S&P 500 index. They can cover specific sectors, specific classes of stocks, or foreign or emerging markets equities. Bond ETFs an exchange-traded fund that is specifically invested in bonds or other fixed-income securities. They may be focused on a particular type of bonds or offer a broadly diversified portfolio of bonds of different types and with varying maturity dates. Commodity ETFs hold physical commodities such as agricultural goods, natural resources or precious metals. Currency ETFs these are invested in a single currency or a basket of various currencies and are widely used by investors who wish to gain exposure to the foreign exchange market without directly trading futures or the forex market. These exchange-traded funds usually track the most popular international currencies such as the US dollar, Canadian dollar, euro, British pound and Japanese yen. Inverse ETFs An inverse exchange-traded fund is created by using various derivatives to gain profits through short selling when there is a decline in the value of a group of securities or a broad market index. Actively manage ETFs these ETFs are being handled by a manager or an investment team that decides the allocation of portfolio assets. Because they are actively managed, they have higher portfolio turnover rates compared to, for example, index funds. Leveraged ETFs 
exchange-traded funds that mostly consist of financial derivatives that offer the ability to leverage investments and thereby potentially amplify gains. These are typically used by traders who are speculators looking to take advantage of short-term trading opportunities in major stock indexes. Industry ETFs these ETFs own a portfolio of stocks representing an industry, such as real estate, energy and oil, technology, mining, transportation, healthcare and so on. Having known the types of ETFs, let's now take a look at the benefits of investing in exchange-traded funds. 5 Advantages of ETFs 1. Lower transaction cost and fees ETFs typically have significantly lower expense ratios than a comparable mutual fund. This is, in part, because of the exchange-traded nature, which places typical costs on the brokers or the exchange, in comparison with a mutual fund which must bear the cost in aggregate. 2. Accessibility to markets ETFs have led the advent of exposure to asset classes that were previously hard for individual retail investors to access, such as emerging markets equities and bonds, gold bullion or other commodities, and the foreign exchange, forex market, and cryptocurrencies. Because an exchange-traded fund can be sold short and margined or leveraged, it can offer opportunities to utilize sophisticated trading strategies. If you're still unsure how ETS can enable you to access various markets, make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for our future episode covering that topic in detail. 3. Transparency Hedge funds and even mutual funds operate in a not-so-transparent manner compared to ETFs. Hedge funds, institutional investors, and mutual funds usually report their holdings only on a quarterly basis, leaving investors without an idea of whether the fund is following its stated investment strategy and adequately managing risks. In contrast, ETFs generally disclose their daily portfolios, which helps the investor maintain better awareness of exactly how his or her money is being invested. 4. Liquidity and Price Discovery Because they can be bought or sold in secondary markets throughout the day, ETFs are more liquid than mutual funds, which can only be bought or sold at their end-of-day closing price. They usually trade close to their true net asset value, as their mechanism of creation redemption constantly balances out the arbitrages in pricing, continually bringing the prices of ETF shares back to fair market value. 5. Tax Efficiency Generally, in an after-tax consideration, ETFs pose a major advantage over mutual funds for two main reasons. First, ETFs reduce portfolio turnover and offer the ability to avoid short-term capital gains, which entail high tax rates, by doing in-kind redemptions. Second, ETFs can overcome rules that prohibit selling and realizing claiming a loss on a security if a very similar security is bought within a 30-day window. Three disadvantages of investing in ETFs. As with any investment, ETFs come with its own unique problems. Some of the problems are 1. Trading costs can add up. ETFs sometimes generate a small trading commission every time an investor buys or sells shares. Although the commission fees are low, the costs add up quickly if you're making frequent trades. 2. Maybe too narrowly focused. Many ETFs track a particular sector benchmark or similar niche area of the market, such as technology. Those types of ETFs tend to have wider swings in price than a broader market index, such as the S&P 500. 3. Temptation to trade. The ability to buy and sell so quickly can make it tempting to dabble in market timing, which can be more harmful than good. It causes people to speculate on price changes instead of investing for the longer term. Who should invest in ETFs? ETFs are designed for every investor, be you a beginner, intermediate or an expert investor. Adding at least an ETF to your investment portfolio can help you narrow your market exposure. As with any financial decision, it's always best to do your research, consider your own personal circumstances and risk tolerance. Back to our trivia question, when was the first ETF launched? The first ETF was launched in the US in 1993. Although the first American ETF launched in 1993, it took 15 more years to see the first actively managed ETF to reach the market. That's it for this episode. Please give us your feedback in the comment section below. To watch more episodes on financial topics like this, hit that like and subscribe button. If you want to support us even more, buy us a coffee from the link in the description. Good luck and see you in the next episode.